Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beach cover up. I'll be making this mesh sweater in a size small, but you can find the free written pattern from sizes extra small to 3 extra large on my blog. The link will be down below in the description bar. You will need Aran or worsted weight cotton yarn, a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle and some scissors. We'll start with the back panel and to begin create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 88. The foundation chain runs the length of the sweater, not the width. To start row 1, we're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. To half double crochet, yarn over. Insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through 3. We're then going to chain 1, skip 1 chain, and then half double crochet into the next chain. We're going to repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 chain, half double crochet into the next chain until the end of the row. Throughout this pattern, the chain ones count as a stitch, apart from the turning chain at the beginning of every row. At the end of row 1, you should have 87 stitches. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, and this doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. So the front loop is the loop closest towards you. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, front loop half double crochet into the next chain until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. At the end of the row, turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1 and skip 1 stitch. Repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet in the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. For row 4, we're going to repeat row 2. So chain 1, front loop half double crochet in the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet in the next chain. And then repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, front loop half double crochet in the chain until the last chain of the row. And then half double crochet into the last stitch. Turn your work. We're going to repeat rows 3 and 4 until the end of row 48. At the end of row 48, fasten off. For the front panel, we'll follow the exact same instructions for the back panel until the end of row 13. For row 14, we're going to decrease the neckline. To start neckline decrease row 1, chain 1, 
front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet in the last chain space of the row. We're not going to work into the last stitch of the row, so we'll have 86 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start neckline decrease row 2, chain 1. Skip the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet in the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. You should have 85 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start neckline decrease row 3, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet in the last chain space of the row. You should have 84 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start neckline decrease row 4, chain 1, skip the first stitch, and then repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet in the chain, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 83 stitches, and in total you'll have 19 rows. Turn your work. To start row 20, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, front loop half double crochet into the next chain, until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 83 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 21, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1. Repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. Repeat rows 20 and 21 until the end of row 29. We're now going to increase the neckline. To start neckline increase row 1, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain until the last chain of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1, half double crochet into the last stitch. You should have 84 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start neckline increase row 2, chain 1, front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1, and then repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. You should have 85 stitches in total. Turn your work. To begin neckline increase row 3, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain until the last chain of the row. Chain 1 and then half double crochet into the last stitch. You should have 86 stitches. Turn your work. To start neckline increase row 4, chain 1, front loop half double crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, 
and then repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 87 stitches and be at the end of row 33. Turn your work. And then we're going to alternate between rows 20 and 21 until the end of row 48. At the end of row 48, you should have 87 stitches. Fasten off. We're now going to crochet the sleeves and they follow the same construction as the back panel. So to begin, create a slip knot and insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 46. And remember that the foundation chain runs the length of the sleeves, not the width. To start row 1, half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 chain, half double crochet into the next chain until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you should have 45 stitches. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, front loop half double crochet into the first stitch and then front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain one, skip one stitch, front loop half double crochet into the chain, until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1, front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, and then repeat the pattern of front loop half double crochet into the chain. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, until the last stitch of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. To begin row 4, chain 1. Front loop half double crochet into the first stitch. Front loop half double crochet into the chain. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, front loop half double crochet into the chain until the last chain of the row. Half double crochet in the last stitch. Turn your work. Repeat rows 3 and 4 until the end of row 24. At the end of row 24, rotate the sleeve 45 degrees. We're now going to crochet along the edge of the sleeve to form the cuff shape. Each row equals one stitch. To begin decrease row one, chain one. We're gonna single crochet two together. To single crochet two together, insert your crochet hook into the first row. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Insert your crochet hook into the next row. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Single crochet two together along the edge of the sleeve. Make sure that your stitches aren't too tight. At the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches in total. Turn your work. And we can see how the decreases have tightened the cuff. To start decrease row 2, chain 1. Single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. Make sure that your single crochets aren't too tight so that the cuff can still fit around your wrist. At the end of the row, fasten off. 
To crochet the cuff ribbing, create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 6. To start row 1, half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. Half double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. You should have 5 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, and then we're going to work into the back loops. So the back loop is the loop furthest away from you. We're going to back loop half double crochet into the first 4 stitches. And then half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the length of the ribbing matches the length of the cuff. When the ribbing is the same length as the cuff, fasten off. Pin the ribbing to the sleeve. And then whip stitch the ribbing to the cuff. Fold the sleeve in half and whip stitch the edges together. Repeat these steps for the second sleeve. We're now going to sew the cover up together. So place the front panel on top of the back panel and we're going to sew the tops of the shoulder seams. I'm using stitch markers to hold the panels together. Whip stitch the shoulders together. Line the sleeves up with the shoulder seams and place a stitch marker at the base of the sleeve. Whip stitch up the sides of the sweater until the stitch marker. Whip stitch the sleeves to the body. Weave in all of your ends. And you finish your crochet beach cover up.